on the uh, the cameras out in Wachusha this morning where they are making some snow. We've also had a couple of flurries out there this morning. So although it's nice to see some breaks of sunshine in Westminster at about 30 degrees, it is a pretty cool start to the day. Barry, it looks like a couple nearby flurries. We'll have to watch that as it tracks a little closer to Worcester this morning. Greater Worcester area did get a little bit of a dusting in some parts of town overnight as we did have some flurries coming on through 36 and dry in Boston. It is 36 and dry in Plymouth and you know what? It's 39 and dry in Chatham right now. It's really dry air in place. It's looked very rainy over the Cape over the past few hours and just nothing's been getting down to the ground. So in Marlboro today, I'm going to go with some partly to mostly cloudy skies. I do think the cloud cover will outweigh the sunshine for today. We've got temperatures stuck in the 30s for the long run. It's going to be a cold and windy day. As you can see, winds gusting 20 to 30 miles per hour this afternoon and this evening. And because of that, we've even got wind chills. So we go from a few flurries today to talking about a late week warm up and some Friday rain. So here's we have a little sliver of sunshine. Ooh, Lily, band name. Sliver of sunshine. Little sliver of sunshine. Good, right? Absolutely. Totally good band name. Uh, but that's what we've got over the Zakem right now. And I think we're enjoying that little crack of sun that we have in the clouds right now. Uh, all in all, cloud cover probably outweighs the sunshine most of the day today. Mostly cloudy and 36 in Boston, but it feels like 28 because there will be a little bit of a breeze. And temperatures essentially stuck in the 30s all day long. There is not going to be a massive warm up today. What you feel outside now is going to be adequate to measure what you feel this afternoon. So whatever sweatshirt, sweater, coat you're comfortable in, just keep it on hand all day. Now check out the wind chills because with that breeze that is going to be building this afternoon and this evening, you're going to see it feels like it's at or below freezing all day. Wind chills will generally be in the 20s through the day today. Uh, so we've had a couple of here and there flurries. Now you can see we've got this little pocket of snow that's traveling across Connecticut, and these are actually attached to some bigger bands of lake effect snow showers that are falling for parts of New York and Pennsylvania right now, and there will be substantial snow accumulation across uh, the coastlines of those lakes. But here at home, it's just not going to amount to much. So we've got lake effect snow warnings for one to two feet of snow for the eastern sides of Lake Ontario and Lake Erie out there, but locally. Maybe a couple of communities this morning wake up to a dusting. It's really not much and you can see as the day goes on. We've got a lot of clouds around in the afternoon. Uh, we've got the chance for a couple more of those bands or pockets of flurries moving into New England and we're just going to have to watch the placement of those. Uh, otherwise, it's not out of the question that we actually end up with an ocean effect snow or rain shower down across the Cape and the islands because the air moving in this afternoon is actually really, really cold. And when you have that pouring over the warmer ocean water, you can stir up some clouds and a couple ocean effects showers. Uh, so today, 39 degrees, breezy with a few flurries around tonight. We tend to clear out. It's going to be clearing, still blustery with lows in the 20s, and that's going to be a cold way to kick things off tomorrow in a really similar afternoon. I think we're going to struggle to get to 40 degrees again for your Wednesday plans. It's going to end up being partly cloudy out there. So because of the cold for the next two days, not the best for hanging the lights. I'd say Thursday and Saturday are your best days coming up in the next few because Friday, of course, we're talking some showers, but you will see temperatures going up again to 46 on Thursday. 52 on Friday, so that's keeping next ourselves warm around that's the a hot thing of coffee. You got right yes, there. Yes, yeah, I was like, is this a warm beverage? Oh, it's almost as hot as the burning love between Ben and JLo. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I, one of our floor directors said I sounded like Shatner uh, <laughs> as I was reciting right. the lyrics. Oh, my gosh, that's right. so, so good. Dear ben Very won. dramatic reading on your part. Sliver of sunshine performing that. Uh, that there you ditty. go, the one and only, the one <laughs> and only. So we do have a couple of those slivers out there right now, but I'd say in general, a lot of you have clouds around. You know, it is lower 30s in Beverly and Bedford and Worcester, mostly cloudy skies. Boston at 36, Hyannis at 37 degrees. I actually wanted to zoom down here because we do have a couple of uh, snow showers that we're tracking right now on radar between Connecticut and Rhode Island in this kind of little heads up for any of you that are traveling down uh, 395 early on this morning. It's not going to amount to very much because the air is so dry. It's essentially eating up a lot of that snow, but we do have the risk at some point today for getting a few flurries out and about. So we've got temperatures stuck in the 30s all day in Boston. There's really not much of a warm up because we've got this pocket of cold air that's going to be peaking overhead today. So three things you need to know below average temperatures. It's going to be breezy and we've got those few flurries as well. I'll show you when we finally have a warm up coming to town.